Percy Mounthawk certainly put up a good performance in the final and you know had the ball gone differently they could have had, perhaps had a chance. Mount Hawk have just finished playing in the All-Ireland Under-19 A's final 2019. They are unable to come out with a win even through a hard-fought game. A year on, the team looks to make amends on last year's result and become the champions of Ireland. The team consists of its captains, Derek Canelli and Stephen Bowler. Guards, Keen Devine. James Ferdan and Ziggy Collector. Big men Oliver Hart, the never camera shy Sean Collins, and David Gronk Goransky. A group of fourth years and self proclaimed utility man Daniel Bowler, and the twins Tim and Sean Pullman Dammon. Rounding off the roster is fan favourite Leroy O'Dai. The team is led by a reputable coaching team and head coach John Dowling, assistants Jimmy Diggins, Lindsay Moriarty and team manager Daryl O'Connor. However, even with a great coaching team and players, the game is not expected to be an easy one, according to Tim and Sean Pullman Dammon. I mean, um, not really. I mean, they got one of their best players in foul trouble as well, so um, he wasn't playing for most of the game, so I'd say in Tallinn it'll be a different game than it was. Uh, they obviously have two twins on their team as well in the Flemings. Uh, what's it going to be like going up against those two guys? Uh, they're, they're two great players, two great shooters, and yeah, we'll just do our level best to shut them down and uh, yeah, just don't let them get the ball. We asked some of the players what it would mean to them to win on Tuesday. What would it mean to you to just win on Tuesday? Um, it would mean a lot really because um, like we've been working towards this now for the whole year, two years, three years. I mean like the six years that are just the six years that will be leaving the school next year. They've had, they haven't won an All Ireland yet. They've been to an All Ireland final last year, lost in a close game. So it would mean the world to them as well to leave the school with an All Ireland final. Um, with a gold medal, so yeah. First of all, I definitely want to win next Tuesday. We have a lot of family coming up. My, my nan coming up, a lot of my uncles coming up. So that would be the ambition to win on Tuesday and then going on further. The school will be sending up hundreds of fans who hold a reputation for making noise that has not got unnoticed by some of the players. Yeah, it's great because like, um, you always have the people gearing for you and uh, they always give you a lift when you're down. And yeah, they're just our, they're our sixth man on the court. So now that you have gotten to know the team, its players and its fans, let's get to the big game in question. The game started off scrappy, with Stephen Bowler having to make a nice save to keep the ball in play. Tim was found for a wide open three to put Mountock up 12-0 early. Looking to put the team up by 10, Leroy heads to the free throw line and some chance of overrated creep in from the St. Pat's crowd, but Leroy quickly puts them to rest, sinking the free throw. Not long after, Leroy does commit a second foul early on, so is forced to exit. St. Pat's had some chances, but were unable to score on this interesting shot. There was some early controversy with the St. Pat's big man appearing to have made a clean block but the refs thought differently to send Sean to the line. With just about a minute left in the first quarter coming off the bench, Ziggy Collecta makes a nice three to extend the lead to 16. Most of the action of the second half came right at the start with Tim Pullman Dammon, James Fernand. and Ziggy Collector, all hitting nice shots to extend the lead to 20. A quite uneventful second half led to Mount Hawk entering the break up 17 points and being in full control of the day's proceedings. The second half started from a nice inbound play that had Sean Pullman Dammon going up and under for a nice layup. 
After a hard fought rebound, Stephen knocked the ball off the St. Pat's player to go out of bounds. In frustration, he kicks the boards and gets a technical foul for his troubles. After numerous attempts to score, Mountauk kicked the ball to Stephen Bowler to extend the lead to 21. A nice steal from Stephen leads to a fancy pass from James Fernand to Derek Nelly as Mountauk turn on the style. St. Pat's look to mount a comeback with two quick threes from Sean Fleming. But Stephen Bowler responds going coast to coast for the layup. To end the third quarter, Tim Pullman Dammon hits a three as Mount Hawk end the quarter up 68 to 48. Leroy enters the game after some missed free throws. He ends up taking it down and after some quick passes, he finishes with a big dunk. And only seconds later, with St. Pat's trying to get a nice play of their own, Leroy blocks it. The Mount Talk fans were vocal all day, and this scene of them dancing the Poznan shows that not only the players had a nice day in Dublin. Following a timeout, St. Pat's looked to post up on Leroy, but a big two handed block led to an easy layup for Stephen. But Leroy wasn't done there, the same Pats looked to get things going, but Leroy's block party couldn't be stopped as he hyped up the crowd for his third block of the quarter. The captain's caption connection was real at the end of the game as Stephen hit a three that surely iced the game for Mount Hawk and followed it off with a big block and flex off the backboard. It was a great game for both teams. At the end of the day, the trophy was always going to come to Kerry. It just so happened that it turned down the N21 to Tralee. Both teams play hard, but one had to come out on top, and it happened to be Mount Talk. Led by their MVP, who put up 24 points on the day, Stephen Bowler, co-captain Derek and Ellie, they hoisted the trophy. Looking back on this, if there was one thing I could make a comment about on this team, it's their teamwork. Whether they were joking with me or each other, they always found the importance of teamwork and working together for one common goal, and look where that got them.